Alright, we're here checking out the new, brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Running it down, it was at 30% yesterday, and then one, one day it's down to 14. And well, all I've had on it was the lawnmower charger, the battery for the lawnmower on charge. And it's not at full. It's sitting there showing charging when it should be full by now. But the orange light stays on. It's, it's not. And the thing that's weird about that is, is that the output of the EcoFlow is showing zero watts. The charger's plugged in. And earlier, when I plugged it in, it was showing about 18 watts of output. And I went out, I come home, and it's still, it's just showing zero. With the charger, it's still not full yet but the charger is very hot so it's drawing a lot of current but I show zero power coming out of this thing so we're gonna try something else okay uh, earlier we had zero we still got zero and the charger unit is still showing charging no full battery and the EcoFlow is look, looking like it's putting out zero power. The fan's on, so it should be generating something. So we're going to plug in the RV, which is into this 30 amp receptacle here on the side. And we're going to see what happens, because this is going to run the converter on the uh, DC panel. Alright, there we go. Plugged in, RV is on, and we are now drawing just around 300 and dropping 300 watts. Converters on and running. Uh, the DC converter on the RV. Now we're going to try to kick on the AC and what happens, okay? I'm going to have my assistant turn on the AC in the RV. Okay, go to low fan. Okay, low fan puts it up around 300, a little bit more. Okay, go to high fan. High fan! Okay. Just a little bit more. Now we're going to put the compressor on, which should show a spike, and then considerable more. Okay, go to low cool. Okay. Yeah, that spiked it up above 1400 and now it's settling down. So, I don't know why it's showing output with all that, but it's not showing output with the battery charge. Further investigation is necessary. Okay, the AC's off in the RV, and we're just uh, doing the DC converter for that battery. And uh, the charger for the lawnmower battery, which is now actually showing charged. There it is. It is charged. So, I don't... And so with the RV uh, converter in that one, it's drawing 126 watts. And we'll go ahead and take out the plug for the RV to see how much we get with just the other. And it drops down to zero. Zero watts. It must be milliwatts coming to this charger to keep the other battery charged. Let's try unplugging it, plugging it back in, and see what happens. There, it's unplugged. Let's try another outlet. And we're still showing zero watts out. All right, 
and it went from 13 to 7 percent in the last 15 minutes or so when we ran the AC to the on the RV RV power as well as that so give you an idea what you're looking at there we dropped five or six percent just within a quarter hour so that's the 30 amp to the RV and the battery charger here which is now back on charge mode showing 12 watts now 11 down to zero this is going to be another call to eco flow so that's it for now